has to do with their child or their child's school. Um, so we conducted an experiment to see what the community members of Iberville Parish um, you know, liked most. So we showed them five different types of posts, um, a question post, a fill in the blank post, a trivia post, video, and, um, sorry, okay. trivia, yeah, that's awesome, sorry. Um, and we showed them two examples of each, one from a Facebook page and one from a Twitter page. And then after they were shown an example, they were asked seven involvement questions, seven engagement questions. So basically what they would do if they came across this post, they would share it, how involved they felt with that. Um, and then after, we just kind of had some demographic questions to see where they were coming from, which schools they um, were coming from, and just what part of the community they were. Um, so like we said earlier, we had two different hypotheses. So when we finished the experiment, our first step was separating all the data into involvement and engagement. Um, so for each type of uh, post, for example, polls, we took all the engagement questions for both examples and combined them together to create one large scale uh, for each type of post. So for involvement, um, we found that audiences felt most connected to trivia, and that meant that they felt like it was important to them, significant to their life, um, and relevant to them. And we found that there was a significant difference between trivia and polls. So polls was our lowest um, level of involvement, but also you can notice that it is above neutral. So while it is the lowest one, they still felt like it was somewhat relevant to their life. Um, this also, um, you can tell, did not support our hypothesis. We thought it would be questions, and questions is actually the fourth lowest. So it ended up being um, trivia. So for engagement, um, we did find that it supported our hypothesis. Videos were the ones with the highest level of engagement. So this meant that um, they would like, share, comment, which is what you want to see on your Facebook page. Um, so there was a significant difference between videos and polls. Uh, once again, polls were the lowest one, but also once again, it was above neutral. So they still felt like they would share it or uh, share it to their contacts and ask for their opinion. Okay, so going back to what Lindsay just said about the results, um, the trivia and the video type posts are what is going to incline your audience to be the most engaged and get the most involved. So we just have a few recommendations. Um, we think the most beneficial posts obviously are going to be trivia, question type posts, and then um, video. Um, we have some recommendations for what types of videos you can post, um, maybe like clips from a football game or clips from the pep rally or any type of clip or from a classroom, any type of clip that is going to get parents to feel involved and people on your Facebook page to feel like they're a part of something. It's like school unity, school pride. So we think that videos could be really beneficial um, and definitely put up those likes on your Facebook page and you know Twitter and whatever social media platforms. Um, we also just wanted to note that even though of all the seven, um, like Lindsay said, they all have positive attitudes. So anything you post that is you know, out of the norm is going to be um, beneficial to your page. And we know that um, one of the main concerns, especially with Iberville, Par is Iberville Parish and um, with a lot of schools who implement social media practices is um, negative feedback. And we do understand uh, you know, the balance between creating um, a platform for communication and maintaining a positive environment. But through our research, we have um, you know, proven that it, if you get the community invested and you get them involved and you make them feel like they're a part of um, the things that you're doing, it does foster a positive environment because it's something that they feel they're a part of and, and therefore they want to support. So that, that is just another thing that we wanted to um, make sure that we talked about. So does anybody have any questions for us? No? Okay. <laughs>